Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tabby Violet, and if you're new here, I do videos on luxury, lifestyle, and vlogs, and a ton of everything, fashion, and pretty much everything that I really like. So hopefully you guys like it too. Today I'm doing a highly requested video on my Chanel reissue 226, uh, size 226, and it is the anniversary edition. And this, this video was highly requested because I purchased this in August last year, August 2017. And I won't do a review today because I don't like to make the videos too long, but if you guys want that, then thumbs up and then leave a comment down below. But uh, it was very requested to do this video. So the size is, this is the Chanel reissue 226 in the distressed calfskin, and it's in gold hardware. I bought this pre-loved from Fashion File um, in August 2017. So what is that? That's like almost a year. It's like maybe eight, nine months or so. And um, I absolutely adore this bag. It's one of my favorites, and um, it's in a ton of my videos, so I'll link them down below. Um, this is pre-loved. And um, so the gold, the gold plating is a little worn off on the chain and also like in the front clasp, but it kind of, it doesn't really bother me that much because the calf skin is so, it has like a distressed look, but I am planning on probably sending it to the leather surgeons just to get it replated and to get like a little conditioning on it. So I'll, I will do a video on it in the future. But other than that, uh, the size is between the jumbo size and the medium large size. And I think the size suits me really well. I will link the video of me doing mod shots and also I have pictures of me wearing it on Instagram, Tabby Violet. Actually, I think it's tabby.violet because the name was taken, who would have thought? Oh, it was actually a cat. A cat took my name. <laughs> so let's get started and I will show you what's inside my bag. I definitely had to downsize from my bigger bags to, my, to this bag. This is not my smallest bag, it's my medium sized bag, but I still had to downsize. So let's get started. Okay, so it has the Mademoiselle clasp and opens up just like the classic flaps. And the difference between this bag is that it's the anniversary edition. So it says 2.55 to 2005. So it's the 50 year anniversary edition. And to me, that's really special. I talk about how I love history a lot and um, how dates mean a lot to me. And um, when, I, when I grow up, when I uh, get older and everything, you know, these, these, this date, I mean, we'll look back on these dates and yeah, it's just really intriguing and, and I just love it. So yeah, let me uh, get to the first thing. So in this front pocket right here, it's the same layout as a classic flap if you guys are familiar. And in this front pocket right here, I have my iPhone 7. It slides in really nicely. And the good thing about this uh, bag is that it's so like soft and smushy. I mean, it really can, it's stuffed and it can just extend. It's not like a stiffer caviar leather. Okay, so then, um, <laughs> so this is real life. This is a diaper, guys. Okay, so the first thing I have in this back pocket back here, I have two pockets back here, and then there's a, lisp a lipstick case, a lipstick holder in there. It is my Louis Vuitton, my Louis Vuitton key clay, and it has just like tons of like extra cards and everything. It's just my extra reward cards, my zoo cards, some some uh, receipts and some business cards. These are just where my extra cards go. And then, and the other, the other pocket is empty, but in the back right here is my now favorite spring and summer lipstick. This was sent to me from a special friend. Um, the video was actually supposed to go up this weekend. It's an international box swap. So excited. And um, the other person, uh, she's a YouTuber as well, didn't get her box yet. So we'll probably have to extend that video to like next week or something, but super excited. But I got this from someone special. You'll see next week, stay tuned. But this is the Balmain uh, L'Oreal collaboration lipstick in the color Fever. And I am currently wearing it right now. It is this beautiful shade of orange. Um, guys, I am film filming at night, so the lighting might be like off. 
you just got to do what you got to do because um, my baby's sleeping. And it's really difficult to film in the daytime because she's cray cray. But uh, yeah, so that goes in that little pocket. The d one difference between this purse is that the, um, the lipstick holder is really big. In the classic flaps, they're quite tiny, but this is actually like you could fit two lipsticks in there. Okay, so next I have my uh, key holder slash I guess like credit card holder. Um, I don't actually have a card holder and I really was thinking about getting the, C, the six key uh, ring holder from Louis Vuitton or Chanel or something like that. But I just wanted to see if it would work for me. And uh, so far I've like used like clays and everything for my key holders, but I don't know, I'm just playing around with the idea. So this, I really I actually bought this when I got my Chanel uh, Gabrielle, um, Gabrielle bag hobo bag and it was silver and I wanted to get this to match it just to see how I would feel about a silver SLG and then eventually maybe get like a Chanel silver SLG and see how it works. This is all leather and it's in silver and it's actually from Amazon. So I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. Super cheap and I mean it's all leather so not bad. But what I really like about it is that it zips down and then you can hold your like your keys in there and it has like all these little like key holders key hooks in there and you can put it in and like zip it up so you don't scratch the inside of your leather purse and then um, on the side it has like the concept of a, like a, a clay and then you can put I put all my credit cards and everything and debit cards in here so I really like that um it's okay it's kind of cool because it has like the key holder and then the clay concept together which is, yeah, I really like it. So I do want to get a Louis Vuitton um, key holder, but I want to do it in the graphite, like um, the men's line, because I think that's really cool. Okay, so next I have, um, this is real life, guys. So I have, what I mean by downsize is that I had to put um, just one diaper in here. <laughs> I know, one diaper, I know. And then um, I don't put like a full baby wipe um, case because I don't have one, but they have the thin ones, so I just grabbed a plastic bag and put some wipes in there. And then I have more wipes in the car if you're thinking if she goes number two or something. I planned ahead, don't worry guys. But yeah, and then, so real life guys, mom life. And then uh, la the last thing that I have is my um, vintage Fendi, it's kind of warped right now because I have so much stuff in there, but my vintage Fendi Zuka makeup case. And I was trying to give my monogram Louis Vuitton um, mini pochette a break. So yeah, this is tinier, but I really like the shape of it. So I just have some SPF baby uh, sunscreen. I have some matches from a restaurant here. You never know when you'll need matches. Some money. It's like my catch-all right now. I always change it up. Sometimes I carry like a card holder or a um, wallet. It just depends. Some stamps some Chanel uh, toilet, um, Chanel toilette moist cloth, a um, La Occitane little refreshing um, cloth as well, a renewal face cre facial cream that I got from a dermatologist, some more money, and a mint. This, this bag is like a Mary Poppins little bag. Then I have my favorite lip gloss, infallible eight hour l'oreal paris in 815 barely nude this is i wear this a lot in a lot of my videos i think it's a really nice like nudish uh reddish pink color for my skin tone uh tic tacs i have this eos lavender hand sanitizer that i got from whole foods i really like this a lot because it's all natural and it's so tiny that it can fit in your you know your catch-all and then I have a um, NYX concealer. And the reason I'm carrying it, I usually don't carry it, it's because my nose has been so stuffy that I have a scratch here. And so you probably can see I'm trying to cover it up with, with concealer. Every time I blow my nose, I have a huge scar. So yeah. And then another mint. And then uh, tons of change. And that's it. The reason I carry so much change is we live in the city. So now like everywhere is like metered parking. So uh, lastly, that is all that's in my bag. And that's quite a bit for a medium sized bag. But I did want to say that I brought this here because this is a full size wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton multicolor Murakami uh, insulate wallet in the fuchsia color. 
And I just brought it here so if you guys have full size wallets to see if it can fit in the reissue. And uh, it totally can, but like for medium sized bags, I don't really feel like you need to like um, carry such a big wallet, you know, like a little smaller. But if that's your only option, like it fits very nicely. Um, also, I don't really carry stuff in the back, but there is that little pocket and a iPhone 7 definitely does fit in there. So it fits very snug. But yeah, guys, I really um, have downsized, but those are my essentials. And I even like downsize even more with like the super mini bags. But yeah, um, I really, really love this bag. Um, I will do a review on it if you guys want. I love how it can fold flat. And you know, um, that's how it can be stored. It has like a triangular shape at the bottom. Very, very soft, good leather. I absolutely adore this bag. It is, like I said, one of my favorite bags. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.